It's very easy to go to the uh, uh, restaurant, it's just to take the tram. It's straight ahead from the Palladium Centrum to Uri Urikova. Uriksova? What's the name? I will write in the description. But uh, an easy way to travel in this lovely city. I am in Pivnis Karlin. It's a uh, restaurant just uh, in some, I think it's a, uh, apartments around here, so it's not uh, in the center of the city, it's around 10-12 uh, minutes with the tram, in the direction of, which I don't remember right now, but some direction from the city. And uh, I'm sitting here because I want to try their famous uh, crispy roast pork knee. Yes, pork we're ready. Knee? Yes, yeah. I, I want to try the... In uh, bread and the mustard. How, how do you serve it in the Czech typical way? Yeah, uh, the, uh, typical, yeah? yeah? Pork knee, yeah. Yeah, yeah pork, pork knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. and the uh, mustard and the bread and the uh, yeah. inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. okay. So, what to drink to the to the pork knee? The beer? Pivo? Pivo. Pivo, yeah. yeah. Which one? A local brew? Pilsner. Yeah, Pilsner. Yeah. Yeah, good. And also some sparkling water, please. Sparkling water. Okay. Yes. Thank you. They are very, they are very friendly. And they told us eight times that they just <laughs> yeah, accept cash, which is good because if the tourists come here and they start waving with the card and they don't take the card, they, <laughs> yeah, obviously it's, it's a problem. But uh, I will try the. Crispy roast pork knee on the grill, and as the lady said, it was some horseradish, freshly grated, uh, mustard, uh, some barbecue, and some bread. So, it is, uh, and some local Pilsner also. My guess is that it's the Pilsner Urquell, if it has the right uh, pronunciation of it. So, looking forward to this dish. They've been talking about it a lot when I ask people what to eat in uh, in Czech Republic. That pork knee is the specialty, and uh, especially this place has got a lot of good uh, reviews. So, yeah, I think it will be interesting to eat because it's a it's quite a different dish. It's quite big as well. <laughs> it costs uh, 275 uh, Czech krona. And maybe if they add something 25 kronos for the the size, I don't know. But say, well, let's say 300. This is the beer coming. Yes. Feels that Urquell? Is that right? Urquell. Yeah. See? I'm learning day by day. Uh, as I was saying, cost around 300 Czechish krona, which is around uh, uh, maybe 12 euros. It's not so much money. I think it's a, a bit more. I think when I looked in the city, it's around 370, 400. But here, when you come away from the city a little bit, it comes a bit more uh, cheaper. But this is the Pilsner Urquell. I will taste first. I got. I got beer mustache. Really good. Lager. I can re recommend it <laughs> for those who haven't tried a beer. <laughs> and I will, I will write the description in uh, the link below so you can see how to get to this place. Pivins Karlin. So, uh, this is the name of it. Thank you. Okay, so we have a pork knee. It's the first time I eat this, and it says also on the menu that it's uh, 1500 grams, which is 1.5 kilos. I suppose the little bone weighs something. 
but yes, it's quite an experience. So until this, I got the, I suppose it's sauerkraut. Yes. The horseradish, the paprika, some other paprika, bread here, and uh, the center of the dish, the pork knee. That is, if you can hear, it's quite firm. So it's, uh, I think it's bread around it. Yeah. Or? Ah, it's baked in. It's good like this. This is the fat. You see, it's quite hot. That is a really crispy skin. Well seasoned. It's like a good crunch. As you can see on the meat, it's very moist and tender. It tastes. Yeah, it tastes. It tastes very good. The crispy skin makes like the whole dish feels like. Packed with flavors. Salt. But it's quite a it's quite a heavy dish as you can see. It's a lot of fat, a lot of skin, meat. You can see around here is a lot of fat here, so if you like it, you're going to enjoy it. Viva la Karlinska Pivnis. But I think it's more. I like to eat. Now let's see how much I can eat of it. But I think in, in general, you can be two persons eating it without a problem. You dip it in the mustard, perhaps? Mm. It took around 35 minutes to get it, but I understand why, because it's a lot of, to cook on this one. And the sauerkraut it works well with them. Um, it takes away the saltiness a little bit from the um, from the pork knee. <laughs> I have some beer too. And I'll take the homemade homemade bread and I will make a little sandwich. <clears throat> and I do like you see here, look at this one. It's just fat. But I like this this food so if you like that it's uh it's packed with flavors as i said before and it's crispy so if you put it like this we will do a little i don't know if they eat like this but i will try it put some sauerkraut on some horseradish like this some mustard maybe we can take some uh, a little bit of the paprika it looks like a nice sandwich does it like, like this. That was nice. It tastes like a completely different dish from 
from just eating off the bone, eating separately, everything. So mix it with the bread. It's a good way to to not get stuck in the same flavor all the time. And the bread also is really good. Very soft. Sometimes they can be a bit like hard and chewy, but splendid one. So now I have things to do for the um, next, I don't know, 40 minutes. I will give it a go. I am enjoying my pork knee. It, it, at first I wonder how big can a knee be, but it's quite big. So, and for this one you pay 275 Czechs krona, which is around 12 euros. I think for this side it's 25 Swedish, uh, Swedish <laughs> Czechs krona, um, which is nothing, apparently. But uh, as I was saying before, it's the it's the fat and the crispiness which is packed with flavors. The other, with the with the meat, is also good, but the flavors are in the fat and in the crispy skin. Uh, it 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 really, it really tastes amazing. With crunchiness and with the fatty. I know I repeat myself, but it's if you come to Prague or Czech Republic, try the try the pork knee because it's it's, a, it's an experience in either way. If you eat a lot, it is a dish for you because if I if I do like this, if I turn it. If I cut it, everything besides of this little little, little part is food. I'm struggling a little bit with the cutting. So all of this is food. All of this is food except from this little bone. So you have meat for like, I don't know, a kilo. And it's not the slimmest of meat. It's the... Yeah, it's a rich, so to speak, but it's very good. It's it's an experience to have this dish, I would say, mixed with the sauerkraut and horseradish, some mustard. I like it very much. And now I will continue about my eating journey and we will see how long this will take me. <laughs> I don't know what my expectations of the dish was, but I thought it was going to be, I don't know, less fatty than it is. But it turned out to be more, I don't know what I thought from the beginning really, but but uh, it, I think it came out more fat, crispy and more of everything. Because some, I, I heard that it was like, some told me it was like seven to eight hundred grams of meat and blah blah blah. But this ain't seven hundred <laughs> grams of meat, it's a lot bigger. So I would say if you, if you go for this dish, share it if you're not a big eater because then you can have it with everything or else share it but delicious food and uh, typical for this region it's worth a try all days in the week I've been sitting for like 40, 45 minutes and been eating and now I'm rather full in my stomach. So I will give up for now, but uh, I come from, I have eaten maybe half and um, yes, it was a delicious dish, so to speak. And uh, if you're on your way in Prague, take the pork knee. But you can share it if you're not a big eater, as I was saying. Thank you for today and we will see you soon again.